Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with the Stock Market Comment on Monday, March 25th. So this is a four-day week. Uh, Friday's a holiday, market holiday for Good Friday. And the uh, market was really pretty dull on Friday, last Friday, and today. So we're maybe slowing down a little bit as we're sort of heading into maybe some spring vacations. I don't know exactly. But... Um, the S&P chart is still very bullish. I mean, we broke out that last time over 5150, and that is still the support area. Uh, I guess our next target would be the four standard deviation band, which is up around 5270. But meanwhile, that entire area between 5050 and 5180 should provide support. If we fall below 5050, then that would be uh, pretty negative. The equity-only put-call ratios continue to bump along on the bottom of their charts, meaning that they're in overbought territory, but they're really not giving sell signals. Sell signals come when those things begin to rise sharply, and they just haven't done that yet. But we're watching it because it is, uh, you know, uh, an overbought condition. Breadth is sort of in the same state we're overbought, uh, but no sell signal there. We tried to get one about a week and a half ago. That didn't work out. And so, um, you know, we're seeing breadth generally being positive. It was not this past Friday, but in general, it has been pretty strong. So, uh, you know, at least strong enough to keep our breadth oscillators on by signals. New highs continue to outnumber new lows on the New York Stock Exchange, so that's another very bullish sign. Uh, VIX remains at a low level, so stocks can rally while that's happening. I, I know people get... A little worried when VIX is low, but really the worry uh, doesn't need to happen until VIX begins to rise sharply. It's sort of like the put call ratios. You know, it can stay down here uh, low, overbought, whatever you want to call it, for quite a while. But that in itself is not a sell signal. It's only a sell signal when VIX begins to rise. Uh, the construct of volatility derivatives, the VIX futures, uh, that's a, in a positive state for stocks as well. The VIX April futures are now the front month. So, you know, it's a pretty uh, short report today. Uh, everything remains bullish. We're, of course, on the lookout for confirmed sell signals. We've rolled up all of our long calls several times now. So, uh, you know, taking partial profits along the way because of that. Meanwhile, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our, our daily letters, daily volume alerts, and uh, the daily strategist if you want to keep up with these things in a more timely basis. Meanwhile, I have a great week trading and have a good holiday weekend coming up.